What, what's your name? Don't you play this game? You from another land, got you like this country band. Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Hope you're having a good day or a good afternoon or a good evening wherever you are. Yeah, I'm out here today at Kirkham. It's a sunny winter day. I'm here today. I'm going to show you guys some easy ledge tricks. Well, the first ledge tricks you guys should learn if you're like getting into skateboarding, if you're at that level of skateboarding where you want to start learning tricks on ledges and if you've been an OG viewer of the channel, you know that I love ledges. I'm wearing some sunglasses in today's video because it's hella bright out here. It is a winter's day. I left the house thinking it would be kind of overcast, but the sun's finally uh, popped its head out. So yeah, apologize for the lack of um, eye contact, but yeah, I don't want to go blind in the sun. All right, so the first trick we're going to talk about today is the most quintessential ledge grind trick, in my opinion. Like you need to learn this trick before you go on to learn any other tricks kind of creates a good foundation to learn upon. But yeah, the first trick we're gonna talk about today, guys, is the front side 50-50. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can approach this trick. So the way I usually approach is I'll come pretty parallel to the ledge, but not super close. Like I'll roll up with my board, maybe angled like that towards the ledge. So it's not super straight, but there's kind of an angle. So you wanna roll in, um, having your board facing this way, and then basically you want to get on, you want to pop, and you just want to aim. What you're aiming for is to pretty much ollie and maneuver both of your trucks onto the ledge and lock in. This trick can be a bit tricky at first. Um, you really want to concentrate on aiming to ollie, clear the board over the ledge, and then land down with both trucks. Um, if I had to say, I would concentrate on locking in either my front or my back truck. I feel like once I ollie, get my front truck straight with the ledge, I can kind of land on it and then lock in. I'm not focused too much on my back truck. I don't know if anyone else does that, but that's how I do it. Now, if you guys are having a problem, um, basically when you ollie, you hit the ledge, you don't ollie high enough. What I could suggest doing is kind of squatting down a bit, really using your knees, ollieing, and then kind of aiming to hit your front truck down on the ledge first and then put your back truck down. And there's no right way or wrong way to learn this trick really. You just kind of got to practice getting in and getting out. But if you guys are having trouble aiming, I would suggest to kind of ollie, put the trunk, the trunk front, <laughs> put the front truck down first and then your back truck. It doesn't have to be like bang, bang. It can just be like bang, bang. All right, so if you guys can manage to pop a nice ollie and lock in, the next part of this trick is kind of keeping your balance centered over the board and keeping your shoulders kind of squared up and parallel with the ledge that you're on. By keeping your weight parallel with the ledge and keeping your shoulders kind of in line, you're gonna hold your weight centered above the board and there's not gonna be much weight kind of dispersed either side. So you wanna be kind of aiming to ride that kind of fine line of balance in the middle of your board by keeping your shoulders straight with the ledge. Another thing that can help if you guys are having trouble uh, balancing along that kind of fine edge that you need to balance on during a 50-50, you can set your board down on the ledge. You can run, jump onto your board and kind of just get used to the feel. You don't even have to land it, like you can jump out, but you can literally just lay your board down, run, jump on it, kind of get a feel for the grind and then pop out. All right guys, so the next trick we're gonna talk about today is the front side 5.0. Now, similar to the front side 50-50, the front side 5.0 is pretty much locking only your back truck in to the ledge, grinding, and then popping out. They can be a bit difficult if you don't know where to place your weight. I'm gonna go through that today with you guys. The front side 50-50 is a quintessential trick to learning the front side 5-0. So if you guys can manual, like if you guys can manually, or even just kind of drag your tail along the ground, um, you should be able to do this trick. So with the front side 5-0, I usually approach the ledge on a bit more of a parallel kind of angle. So what I'll do is I'll ollie and then shift my back foot over this way. Instead of trying to get on like this, it's kind of off on an angle, does that make sense? What you can do with this trick, along with any of the other tricks in this video, you can kind of be stationary and just practice popping and locking into the trick. I find that kind of teaches you how to kind of shift your weight over and lock in and kind of pop out. So if you can do it stationary, you can go a bit faster and faster than um, sure enough you're gonna learn how to kind of do the front side fobo or the front side 50-50 or the back side 50-50 with ease. So the next trick we're gonna talk about today is we're gonna talk about the back side 50-50. This trick is the brother of the front side 50-50. Um, I find it a little bit harder since you're approaching on your back side, meaning your back 
is towards the ledge as opposed to your front when you do a front side 50-50. So when you're approaching your backside 50-50, I kind of roll in on an angle like this. It's a bit more tweaked than the front side 50-50. Um, I don't know why, I'm just comfortable with it. The same same goes, you want to be able to pop a smooth ollie, not too high. I kind of ride the front truck a bit more here, just to lock in. Yeah, you want to ollie, lock in, keep your knees bent, and just ride that edge. So the same thing goes for the backside 50-50. You can lay your board down, run and jump on it, and kind of practice riding that edge here. Be sure to uh, keep your shoulders parallel with the ledge. All right, guys, the next trick we're going to be talking about today is the backside board slide. Yeah, generally, when people are learning this trick, they don't want to jump straight onto a rail, obviously, because it's a bit scary. You can practice it on a ledge. Then again, if you can, if you can ollie and you can front slide 180, that's all you're going to need for this trick. And you're going to need a balance. So what you're going to want to do is you want to kind of ollie. So you want to ollie about here, rotate your shoulders open, and you want to kind of aim. Um, depending on how waxed the ledge is, you can lock in like this, but you're gonna need hella wax where your wheels are gonna slide, unless you're like hauling ass and you're going really fast. But usually I tell people to kind of hop on in the middle, just so they can teeter tot on the edge a bit, so they can just kind of um, get that board control of being in a board slide. So pretty much you wanna ollie, you wanna pop an ollie, aim for here. And um, another key thing is you wanna kind of at least on the ledge, you want to kind of ollie and you want to kind of lean back on your heels a tiny bit. You don't want to kind of be bent, hunched over because usually when you board slide a rail, um, you want to keep your knees bent and you want to lean forward. For a ledge, it's kind of opposite in a way. You're going to ollie, um, aim to lock here. So that's where you're going to be kind of aiming for. Lean back on your heels a tiny bit, slide out. Once you get to the end of the ledge, um, if you're going slow enough, you can kind of just pop out and land sideways and kind of tic-tac away. But um, this trick, you can kind of do it in baby steps. Next trick in this video is the backside nose slide. Pretty simple, kind of similar to the backside board slide, but where you're locking in, you want to lock in on your nose. So you want to squash your truck and your nose on top of the ledge, or your truck against the ledge and your nose on top of the ledge. You want to approach um, slightly parallel, but not super straight slightly parallel you want to ollie and what you're aiming to do is you're jamming that in here like that so you want to ollie jam here so the pinch point would be the front end of your base plate like this against the ledge your nose on top of the ledge so you want to have your foot about when you're on it um, you kind of want to be just in the pocket here like that because if your foot's too far forward you're going to scrape um, I find it best to kind of put your foot probably around here, just below the front bolts. So when you ollie and you lock it in, your foot's kind of right in that pocket there and you're able to keep your weight centered along this line here, um, slide. And then when you come out, you're gonna wanna kind of rotate your shoulders back out like that. Like any of the tricks in this video, you can practice them stationary, which is the beauty in this trick. You can kind of just stand or roll really slowly parallel to the ledge, pop, lock in, and practice kind of turning out and getting your board forward again. So the three key elements to the backside nose slide is popping, locking in, uh, leaning forward a bit, keeping your weight centered over the nose and the ledge. And then as you come out of the ledge, being able to rotate your shoulders to put your board back parallel with the ledge. The backside crooked grind. Now, a lot of people want to learn this trick because it looks sick. Once you learn how to do them properly, uh, they come pretty easy. I mean, it's kind of a cross between a backside 50-50 and a backside nose slide. So if you can back 50-50 and you can back nose slide, um, this trick is for you. So you want to approach the ledge once again, not super parallel, but kind of. You want to pop. I tend to put my foot bit further back than what I normally would for like a nurse slide because if I pop from here and I want to lock into a K my foot ends up over here and then my toes touch a ledge and it stops me from grinding. I usually put my foot a bit further back so when I ollie and by the time I lock in my foot's like right in that sweet spot and I'll show you guys where to lock in. Now the secret to this trick is the pinch. Um, 
what you're aiming for basically is you want to ollie and then you want to kind of aim with your front foot and lock in here. And I'll show you guys exactly where to pinch. When you want to lock into a K, um, you want to kind of squash your heel down and put your weight right kind of here. It's called the pinch. So if you can like ollie and pinch your heel down like this, keep your weight centered, the board's going to like kind of slide. You're going to lock in nice and then you're going to grind. So yeah, when you ollie and you lock in, you're going to kind of want to lock in like, you can hear that squeak. You're going to kind of want to lock in like this. So if you guys take a look at this lock in here, um, you can see that my truck is kind of on an angle. The front wheel's above the ledge and the bottom wheel is kind of hovering. You want to go for that squash right here and keep all your weight centered above the ledge and squash it right here. My phone died, so I'm just going to show you guys here. Um, you can practice this trick stationary. So you can kind of stand there stationary, ollie, lock in and then pop out. I'll show you guys real quick. When I was learning K-grinds, what I struggled with for a long time was popping out. I couldn't seem to pop out, I'd just kind of fall out. Um, if, you're on the, if you're locked into this trick and you have your knees bent, all you need to do is give it the slightest nudge on your nose and because of the pressure kind of built up in that lock, the board's going to pop out and naturally kind of go back to being straight. All right, guys, if you guys have watched the video this far, thank you very much. I hope those tips were useful for you guys. If you have any questions about any of the tricks, let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out via by the comment section. We can talk and talk about skateboarding tricks and stuff. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to make any other tutorials on tricks that you see me doing and that you might want to learn, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below and um, I'll see what I can do for you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Make sure you leave a thumbs up if you learn anything. But until next time, guys, I will catch you all in the next video.